Alright, so we're needing to make a pause menu for our game. I'm doing this for my FPS series, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. First thing we're going to be needing is our input system from our packages. We're going to go ahead and go to the Unity registry and grab the input system. Then we have our action map, which you can create down here. Go ahead and go into that. And then we have our menu action map that I've created. Inside that, I've labeled this escape. And we have it as a button. Go to the actual binding for it. It's escape. And then we have select. And this will be the pause going into the game. Then over here, after we've selected the input action map, we need to make sure that we're generating a C-sharp script. So then you check that, hit apply, and we have our script. Next, we're going to need to set up our UI. You can set that up however you would like. I'm going to go ahead and show you in my game. I don't have a UI yet, but I have already created it. All right. And here is my UI basic we have paused we need to resume the game we have options our social main menu and exit game not all of these buttons have the functionality yet but i do plan on adding that in the future we have all of our buttons well we have a panel which is the darker grayed out area and then we have our buttons for the resume options social and main menu again and then under that the text I'm not going to go over that fully. Then we have that under an empty game object, which is our pause menu, so it can be toggled on and off. Next, we need to create an empty game object that's going to house the script independent of our player, and we're just going to call it our menu controller. So go ahead and create that. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my menu, pause menu, and go to my script and create a script for it. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag that onto there after it compiles. There we go. All right, hopping right into our script, we need to make sure that we have a call to our input map and an input action. So we're just going to do well, up here above in our using area. We're just going to be using, if I can type, engine dot ah, let's be engine dot input system there we go now we can go down a little bit and we have we need to have a call to our action map which is going to be player controls and then we're going to need to have an input action which we're just going to call menu so let's go ahead and just grab that private player controls and then a private input action menu there we go now we need to replace the start with an awake so just awake and make sure that our player controls is initialized there we go Now we need to have something to get the UI as well as tell us when we're paused. So we're just going to do this. It's going to both be a serialized field. We have our game object for our UI. And then we're going to have not a game object, but a bool for is paused. Next, we're going to need an enable and disable method. Let me scroll a little bit. Go down and on enable, 
and then an on this side. There we go. Inside of our on enable script, we're going to be calling our menu and getting it equal to our player controls dot menu dot escape. If you're wondering where these variables are coming from, we go back to our game, go back to our action map. You'll see that it's getting it from player controls, getting it from menu, and then getting escape, which is what we have here, player controls, menu, escape. And then next we need to enable the menu. So menu.enable. There we go. And then before we can do this next part, we need to get our menu.disable. And then we need to create the method for actually pausing the game. So we're just going to do forward pause. Oh, pause. And we're going to have to have a callback context. So we're just going to be doing input action dot callback context. And you can name this whatever you want. We're just going to use context. There we go. <coughs> now back in our on enable, we can go ahead and menu dot performed is plus equal to pause. We're just making it to where whenever this action is performed, it causes this method to fire. All right, and back in our pause method, we need to make sure that is paused is equal to not is paused. Then we need to check if we are paused, Then we need to activate our menu. We haven't made these methods yet, but we will in a second. Activate menu. There we go. And then we need to have one for deactivate menu. So else. Deactivate. Now let's go ahead and create those methods. We're also going to want to make this public. I accidentally made this public instead. Our pause method is not supposed to be public, but our deactivate menu is. This is for later on whenever we want to use our actual buttons. Now into our activate menu, we're going to be taking our time scale and equaling it to zero. We just want to do that so the game pauses. And then we also want to make sure that the audio that's going on in the game also pauses. Then we need to set our pause UI to active. I'm just going to copy this down here and then false and false and this needs to be one now under this we need to make sure that we're resetting our is paused to false there we go now back into unity we need to make sure that our script is passing through the UI. So let's go ahead and grab, this is what this empty game object is for that houses everything. Just gonna drag that in and make sure that it is turned off in the inspector at the moment. Now we should be able to hit play, go into our game. I'm gonna walk over to this nice little waterfall and I'm gonna hit escape and there we go. We're able to pause the game, and if I hit escape again, it works. 
now our buttons highlight but none of them work so we're going to do that next we need to go to our UI go to the one that you want to use so we're just going to be resuming our game so let's just hit go to resume game if that's what you have we go down to our on click method and then we're going to be dragging in our menu controller right here using the function under pause menu the script and then we're going to be deactivating the menu so now whenever we go back into our game this is still activated but if I resume game it exits back out and if you hit escape it goes back in so now we're able to use the buttons and you can map the buttons to other UI and whatever you would like if you guys enjoyed the video and you learned something from this I would love it if you would subscribe and continue learning with me also don't forget to check out my FPS series and I will have a card for the original way to make a menu in the first half of the video and I'll have a card right here for how to make an FPS. Other than that guys, I'll see you later.